Hello, hi kitty cats, meow. Um, it is I, Bob, and it's great to see you guys. Um, so I have um something special tonight, other than um our normal. Hey guys, I'm still in rehab, and you know, guess what horrible things they did to me today, and guess guess who I I hate today um i was tagged been tagged um i'm not going to give the name of the person who tagged me but you know who you are and just know that i know where you live Keep that in mind. I know where you live. This this tag is no joke. This tag is no joke. I had to write down all the questions from the tag. And it's four pages long, guys. Four pages! So we're going to try to get through this all in one, in one video. Okay? Because this is, this is nuts. The tag is called 100 Questions Nobody Would Ever Ask You Because Nobody Gives a Crap. Well, if you don't give a crap about the answers to these questions, why did you tag me in it? I don't like you. I'm just kidding. You're still my friend, um, and and to my other to my other YouTuber friends, you you can tag me in other things. In fact, I had a tag from. I have to go back. What was that, Erica? Erica, um, you you tagged me in something weeks ago, and I was right in the middle of. Of the operations and the amputation and the rec and I am sorry that I didn't, I didn't accept your tag and fulfill your tag, and now I can't find it, I can't find the video, so let me know what the tag was, or or resend me the link for the video, so I can write down the questions and and do the tag because I want to do the tag, and I want you guys, all my YouTuber friends. To keep tagging me and stuff, it makes me feel like I'm part of the community. And um, I'm sorry about the lighting tonight, guys, but again, I said that once before, didn't I? So I'm not going to say it again. At any rate, it's been three minutes and I babbled on, and I want to get through this, 100 questions. And you know that I'm a talker and I can get off track. So I'm going to try to focus and we're going to get through this and get it done. Because I really, I've accepted this, this tag, so let's do it. Okay. 100 questions nobody would ever ask you because nobody gives a crap. Question number one. What is your middle name? My middle name is Charles. Um, my first name is Robert. Um, for my grandfather, my middle name is Charles for my father. Number two, what is your favorite sound? My favorite sound is, um, train whistles off in the distance, in the distance. I don't want them right out. Like, I don't want to live right next door to a train yard and have the train or train tracks and have the train below the horn right outside my bedroom window. Now, that's a little close, a little too close, because they're loud. Okay, those air horns. But I love to hear a train air horn off in the distance, like a mile or two away. Um, to me, it's, it's so sort of eerily romantic, okay? What is your least favorite sound? My least favorite sound is a alarm clock and more so a digital alarm clock. I can't stand that. Eh, 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 eh. I 
can't stand that town at six o'clock in the morning. I can't stand that town anytime, but especially in the morning. Which is why you set an alarm clock so you can get up in the morning. Mm-hmm. So that was sentence was kind of stupid. But I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the sound of an alarm clock, any alarm clock. Um Number four, what is your favorite curse word? Okay, well, my favorite curse word begins with an F and ends with a K. Um, And it's not fork. And I don't, uh, when when I drop a curse bomb, I don't, I don't substitute the word for fudge or fork or I say the word. Um, And that one happens to be the one that I say a lot. Um, I try not to, I try not to use the Lord's name. Like I don't say, I try not to say GD. I try not to say JC in a derogatory way. Um, I try not to, um, Say I, sw- I swear to God, um, and I try to keep Tony from from using that kind of language too. Um, I mean, the f bomb in our house is, it, I mean, that's a given. Um, and let's get a little PG here, um, so kids, sorry, they go out of the room. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop the F-bomb, but, um, because you know what I mean when I say F-bomb. Um, but like shit, damn, um, bitch, son of a bitch, you know, I use, I use those words all the time. Okay. But F-bomb is my favorite. Um... Did you have a bully in high school and who was it? I did, and his name was Doug, and he made life in high school very hard for me. He was the captain of the football team, uh, as well as the mascot for um, the sports teams in our high school. Um, He was very nasty to me, and very nasty to me in front of a lot of people in the hallways and in the cafeteria and um he would yeah um yeah he 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 was bad um but then come to find out after graduation a couple years later guess what that son of a bitch was gay <sighs> whatever you know overcompensating so nobody would know he was gay um in high school, at my expense. Okay, number six. Do you sleep with the closet doors open or closed? It doesn't matter. Um, I, I, there's no monsters in my closet, and Carol Ann is not floating around in there. Uh, you know, if you get that reference, I'm sure you do. Um, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if they're open, they're open. If they're closed, they're closed. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter to me one way or another. Um, number seven, um, do you take shampoos and soaps from hotel rooms? I do. And, um, when I owned my home in Lancaster, I had a five bedroom house and I had a beautiful guest room and I had a beautiful, um, crystal, uh, footed compote dish, uh, candy dish. It, it, actually, it was a candy dish. And, um... When I stayed at higher end hotels, like uh, when I would be in New York City um, and I would stay at the Plaza or um, uh, the um, Waldorf, places like that, that their soaps and their shampoos were printed with the hotel name and very classy. I would specifically take those, take them home and arrange them in the little crystal footed bowl in the guest room. Um, 
I also had stolen from, from one of the higher end hotels, um, one of the little placards, a uh, little tent, plastic tent sign that said, um, please take, please take one. And I had that right by the soaps of the dish, of the shampoos. Um, yeah, real bougie. I was so bougie back then. Um, number eight. Uh, do you sleep with the sheets tucked in or out? Most times I don't even sleep with a sheet. Um, when I was a kid, they had to be tucked under my feet because of the monsters under the bed. If the monsters came out from the foot of the bed, they couldn't get you because your feet were covered, so they couldn't grab you by your feet. That went on until I was actually an adult. Um, it was just habit by then to tuck my feet under the sheets. Um, but then some... At some point, I just, I started not caring. And actually, uh, most of the times, I don't just sleep with anything over me. I don't even sleep with a sheet. Um, number nine, have you uh, ever stolen a street sign? I have never stolen a street sign. Um, why would I? Um, number 10, uh, do you use Post-it notes? I do use Post-it notes if I don't have... A piece of paper or a um, a notebook or a tablet of some sort. Um, the problem with post-it notes is um, I will write little things on the post-it notes, like a phone number or a name or something. Um, the post-it note gets put aside. Uh, after a while, the post-it notes start piling up again on top of each other, and I go through the post-it notes and I have no idea. Uh, what this phone number is for, who this is, who this name belongs to, uh, what this means, and so I throw them all away. Um, so number eleven, do you clip coupons and never use them? I, you know what, I used to. So I, now I don't even bother. I don't even bother to clip the coupons because I know I'm never going to use them. Um, my sister used to be a an extreme. Couponer, I don't think she does much anymore because I don't think she really has the time to do that anymore because it's a full-time job. It takes, I mean, I watched her do it and she had the folders and the books and the plastic sleeves and the, the yeah, no, who has, I don't know, who has time for that? Nobody. And she doesn't have time for it anymore either, so she doesn't do it. Um, and I have no desire to be an extreme couponer. Uh, number 12, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Um, can I say neither? Neither one sounds pleasant. Number 13, um, do you always smile for pictures? No, because there's some pictures where you want to be. Okay, so no, I don't. Number 14, what is your biggest pet peeve? Um, I don't even know if this is a pet peeve, but I can't stand screaming kids. And I can't stand kids who, like, in YouTube videos, Tony watches these all the time, and I can't. It, it, it's my trigger. And I don't know why he does it, but, like, these kids where they're like, oh, look at this swan. Isn't it pretty? And the kid is like, oh, hee, hee, hee. And the swan starts walking over to the kid, and the kid starts screaming bloody murder and running around the park or running away from the swan or the ducks or the puppy or the whatever. Uh, stop. Stop screaming. Stop screaming. Stop screaming. I don't, I hate it. If, if Tony and I, and Tony it really hates, if we're in Walmart and a couple hours over, there's a kid that has now started to scream. Tony will turn and bolt the other way. And I'm right behind him because I can't, I can't take it. It is my, it's my, it's my trigger. Okay. Um, number 15. Uh, do you ever count your steps when you walk? No, I don't. I'm OCD, but I'm not that OCD. Okay. Number 16. Um, have you ever slept in the woods? Do I look like somebody who camps? No. 
I, I have no desire to, to be in the woods, in a tent, on the ground, in a sleeping bag, okay? My idea of, of roughing it is a four-star hotel that's further than walking distance from the nearest gay bar, okay? That's rough. That's rough in it. Uh, have you ever gone to the bathroom in the woods? Either poopy or pee-pee. Um, I've peed outside. Um, I've, I've never made number poopy number two in the woods. I've never had reason to. Um, never had cause to. Uh, when I was a kid, we had five acres of ground and at least three of those acres were woods plus, um, people's, uh, behind us, people's, um, properties behind us were all woods. And as kids, we would go up in the woods and play and stuff. And, yeah, I've peed in the woods. Um, okay. Do you ever dance when there's no music playing? No. Uh, do you do you chew on pencils or pens? No. Um, what size is your bed? My bed is a double. Um, just a standard double size. Um, does someone else sleep with you in bed? Um, yes, uh, Khan, the black kitty, uh, sleeps up under, kind of under my armpit, against my chest. Chewy, in the summertime, sleeps about halfway down the bed. Um, just around my knees against my legs, uh, on the right side of me, Mia will sleep at my feet on the left side of, of my body in the wintertime. Chewy will sleep in, inside my legs. Um, so I cross my, cross my leg, um, when I sleep at night on my stomach and Chewy will sleep in there in the wintertime. Um, Tony sleeps in his own bed upstairs in his own bedroom. So I don't sleep, uh, Tony and I don't sleep together. Um, is it okay for men to wear pink? Obviously. Obviously. Uh, 23. Um, do you still watch cartoons? Not a big cartoon guy. I don't like the adult cartoons. Like, um... The Simpsons or, or, um, um, what's the other one? Um, I don't even know. Family Guy. Like, I don't, I don't watch those. I don't like the, I don't like the adult cartoons. Um, never have, I've never watched them. Um, and I don't watch my, I don't watch Scooby-Doo and, um, you know, Bugs Bunny and all that. I don't watch any of that stuff anymore either. Uh, I guess that makes me a stick in the mud, but I just don't watch them. Not that there's anything against it, but I don't. Um, unless uh, unless you count um, animated movies as cartoons. I do watch animated movies. Um, and I will still watch, I will still watch, so I guess I do kind of watch cartoons. I will still watch like the holiday specials like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus Coming to Town. Um, you know, I will watch those. The Grinch, Who Stole Christmas, which is animated. Um, so, what is your least favorite movie? My least favorite movie um, would be anything I'm not interested in at all. Like Tony um, will watch Harry Potter. I'm not interested in Harry, the Harry Potter movies at all. Um, so, there's, there's more than one um, that I'm, you know, it's just stuff that I'm not interested in. Um, what is your most favorite movie? Uh, well, my most favorite movie probably would be currently, um, I absolutely love, and it's, it's kind of an older movie now at this point, but I, I love Maleficent. Um, and we are watching right now, quite frankly, uh, more than a couple times have I seen Moana. Um, Tony loves Moana and he'll watch it incessantly sometimes um 
But I can sit through Moana again and again and again. I, 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 it's beautiful. It's done beautifully. And, and the animation is gorgeous. Um, do you have a favorite Disney movie? Disney movie. Okay, well, we're coming back to, yes. Um, Maleficent. Uh, Angelina Jolie was amazing in that movie. Um, do you have a favorite Disney princess? Well, again, probably right this moment, it would be Moana. Um, I lean more towards the Disney villainesses, although in this movie with Angelina Jolie, Maleficent was actually neither hero nor villain. Um, so, I don't know. It was a beautiful movie. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. It's be please, please see it. It's beautiful. Um, all right, we are not that far yet. Okay, 28. Good Lord, this may be a two-parter. Um, what do you drink with dinner? Usually I have a drink mix made up in the refrigerator. It's usually peach tea. Um, what do you dip a chicken nugget in? I don't eat chicken nuggets. I don't like, um, I don't like pressed chicken meat where they take different parts and press it together to make a nugget. I don't, I don't, I can't do pressed chicken. Um, so I don't eat chicken nuggets. However, if I would be eating a chicken finger um, or like a boneless chicken wing, um, it would be a ranch dressing. Um, what is your favorite food? My favorite food, my favorite food type would be Italian. Um, within the Italian genre, I like stuffed shells. I like um, lasagna. I like Parmesan either chicken or veal. I prefer veal, but veal is hard to get these days. Um, I also like Italian sweet sausage and um, Italian sweet sausage and peppers. Um, I also really love chicken cacciatore. So um, what is your favorite appetizer? If I'm going out, obviously to a restaurant for food, my favorite appetizer would probably be anything with crab, crab, like a crab cake, a mini crab cake, or um, crab dip, like hot crab dip, like the San Remo crab dip. I love, I love any kind of cheesy crab dip or um, tomatoey crab dip uh, with the little little toast. Um, love it. Um, what movie can you watch over and over again and still love? Anything that I really like, um, I can watch over and over and over again. I have a DVD collection um, that is huge. Uh, and Tony uh, Tony talks about my DVD collection all the time. It takes up like four, four cabinets. Um, it's big. And I can watch any one of those movies um, at any given time over and over again. Um, Last person you kissed or kissed you? Well, that would be Tony, I would hope. So, uh, number 34. Um, were you ever a boy, a boy scout slash girl scout? Yes, I was a cub scout. Uh, funny, my mother was the den mother, um, cub scout troop 34. Um, and my mother was the den mother, uh, go figure. My mother was not the den mother type, but so it was funny. Um, but yes, number 35. Um, when was the last time you wrote somebody a letter on paper? Um, 1982. Um, yeah, I it's, it's, uh, we don't paper. I had to I had to track down this paper to write down write down the questions and you can see it was. You know, it was the backsides of something else because who has paper anymore? Nobody has paper. Uh, number 30, can you change the oil on your car? 
As a matter of fact, yes, I can. I can change the oil and I can change the tires. Um, but I don't change the oil because um, I it messes up your nails. And why would I want to when I can go to Jiffy Lube or Midas? Uh, number 37 ever gotten a speeding ticket you know oddly enough i have never never gotten a speeding ticket gotten other tickets like parking tickets and um i passed a school bus bus once that was blinking red i wasn't even thinking i was sort of you know in the zone cop was behind me and stopped me and i got a ticket um have you ever run out of gas no, I have never run out, actually, never run out of gas. I'm way too OCD to run out of, to run out of gas. Number 39, favorite kind of sandwich? Philly cheesesteak. Hello. I am, I'm a Philly boy, you know? Philly cheesesteak, Philadelphia cheesesteak. Um, usually from Pat's. Um, yeah, Philly cheesesteak. For number 40, uh, best thing to eat for breakfast. I'm not usually up for breakfast. Um, but, um, there is a restaurant, um, that we go to sometimes. Um, and if I'm up for breakfast, I do love this restaurant. It is a huge buffet. Um, huge buffet and they have a going back to the favorite sandwich they have a Philly cheesesteak omelet oh my uh, what is your usual bedtime my usual bedtime I don't have a usual bedtime I can fall asleep at midnight I can fall asleep at 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. I may not fall asleep at all and be up all night long who knows? I don't. It's not like the clock strikes 10 and I go to bed. Um, are you lazy? Well, that's something nobody wants to admit, okay? Um, although I would be the first one to say, yeah, I probably am. Um, 43. Uh, when you were a kid, what was the most bizarre Halloween costume you wore? Okay, when I was um, in, in um, eighth grade, um, my parents sent me to a private Christian school because I was getting bullied so much in public school. Um, a private Christian school. Can you only imagine how much I got bullied in a private Christian school as gay as I was? If I was getting bullied in public school, can you only imagine? Um... Of course, at Halloween, they, they didn't do ghouls and goblins and ghosts and all that stuff because they were a Christian school. So our Halloween pageant, we had to dress up as someone dead or alive from history, American history. Um, me being the little budding drag queen I was, I dressed up like the Statue of Liberty. Oh, yes, the Statue of Liberty, the crown, the spiked crown, the torch. The robe, the whole nine yards, Statue of Liberty. Um, when I look back on it now, mortifying. Um, what is your Chinese astrological sign? I have no idea. Do I look Chinese? I don't care. Uh, 45. How many languages do you speak? I speak English, um, and I, 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 I speak one in about a quarter. Okay, because I really don't speak Spanish, um, but I do understand a little Spanish. And I do, I can say a couple words or a couple phrases, a couple sentences in Spanish. Um, so, um, and I try to speak Spanish to the cats. Like if I want them to come up on the seat next to me, I pat it and I, and I say, Bente. And they understand that. And I say, uh, you know, mi cato bueno. 
um, which means my good cat, and they understand that. Um, 46. Do you have any magazine subscriptions? Uh, no, I don't subscribe to magazines. Who has time to read them? I sure don't. And um, But the girl that uh, lived in our house before us, who never canceled her magazine subscriptions when she moved, gets every magazine known to man. So every month I get, oh, Cosmopolitan, Good Housekeeping, Better Homes and Gardens, uh, Healthy Eating, Healthy Recipe. They go from the mailbox right into the trash. Because who has, I don't, who has time? I don't have time. Who has time? Not me. Okay. Uh, 47. Which, which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? As a kid, I played with both. Um, educated answer, Legos. 48. Uh, are you stubborn? Yes, I'm very stubborn. Um, okay, have you met me? Yes, I'm very, very stubborn. Uh, 49, ever watch soap operas? Yes, I was hooked on Days of Our Lives and Another World for years um, as a kid in, in high school. Um, my mother used to watch Days of Our Lives. It occurred to me that Wesley Yor, who was on Land of the Lost on Saturday mornings, was also on Days of Our Lives. Um, I, in my mind... Wesley Yor was my teenage uh, boyfriend. And so I was thrilled to find out that he was on another show other than Land of the Lost. So, of course, subject matter was way over my head, but I started watching Days of Our Lives, and I was hooked. Um, 50. Are you afraid of heights? Um, yes and no. I don't want to be out on a ledge um, with nothing to hold me back. Um, but I'm not afraid of heights if I'm like, I can go to the top of the Empire State Building. Um, I could go to the top of, of the Grand Canyon. I could walk out on that glass, that glass thingy that they have. Yeah, I, I can do that. I'm not afraid of that. Um, and like, you know, roller coasters and that kind of thing. I'm not afraid of that. But I, you know, yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to be standing on the edge of something, uh, with nothing to hold on to. 51, we're halfway there, guys. Uh, do you sing in the car? I do, uh, much to Tony's dismay, because I cannot hold a tune. My voice is flat. Um, it's so flat, it's flat like roadkill. And that's what I sound like, something that's been hit by a car when I sing. Do you sing in the shower? No. Do not sing in the shower. Uh, 53, do you think musicals are cheesy? Some musicals are cheesy, um, unless you're talking about musicals like, um, Les Mis, Sunset Boulevard, um, Sweeney Todd. Those mus musicals are, are absolutely beautiful, so, yeah, no. Uh, for the most part, yes, but yes and no. Number 54, ever shoot a gun? Um, when I was a kid, my stepfather had guns. Um, my cousin, older cousin, who was my stepfather's favorite nephew, had guns. They would go to the um, shooting uh, range, and um, I would go sometimes. And yes, I have shot a gun. Uh, I've never gone hunting or anything like that. Never shot a gun at somebody else, but I have shot a gun at the firing range. Um, 55, do you think Christmas is stressful? Doesn't everybody? Yes. 56, have you ever eaten a pierogi? Okay. Polish. Pierogies are one of our staples, okay? So, uh, yeah. Pierogi, if you don't know what a pierogi is, you're, where have you been? Google it, okay? Pierogi, Miss, Mrs. T's pierogies in the frozen section. You take them home. You keep them frozen, you get a pot of water, put on the stove, you put the pierogies in, you turn it on. When it boils, the pierogies float to the top. In the meantime, you get a frying pan, you get some butter, you get some onions, you saute that, saute the onions until they're clear, get the butter nice and hot, 
Okay, when the pierogies float to the top, you take them, you drain them, you put them in the butter, you fry them until they're nice and golden brown, and that is a perfectly cooked pierogi. You can also do pierogies with sauerkraut and kielbasa, uh, which is also very acceptable. 59, favorite type of pie. I love all pies, love all pies, all pies, all pies. Um, I think my favorite type of pie of all time would be a shoe fly pie. Um, what do you mean you never heard of a shoe fly pie? Shoe fly pie is Amish. Um, they make it with all of the um, molasses and brown sugar. They set it on the um, windowsill to cool because of all the molasses and brown sugar. The flies are drawn to it and they shoe them shoe fly, shoe fly pie. Um, Google it. If you don't know, Google it. You're already Googling Wesley Yor and pierogies. Okay. Um, occupation you wanted to be when you were a kid? Okay, oddly enough, um, I actually wanted to be a undertaker, a mortician. And it was because I thought it, they were so, you know, they drove those beautiful hearses that were Cadillacs, and I love Cadillacs. And um, I was just so enthralled by the hearse. And, um, you know, the funeral homes were so formal with the Victorian, they all had Victorian furniture and big crystal chandeliers. And I used to, I don't know, I thought the caskets were so beautiful. And not that I embraced death with dead people or was, you know, whatever. I just liked the pageantry of it all and the formalness of it all. Um, when I finally found out what a mortician actually had to do, to the dead bodies, um, yeah, not so much. Um, I gave up that that dream. Okay, uh, number fifty nine. Do you believe in ghosts? You know I do. I've talked about the ghosties in my current house. I've lived in haunted houses um, ever since I was a kid. Um, so yes, I believe in ghosts. Uh, ever had deja vu? Well, yes. I think everybody has had a little bit of deja vu where you think, um, do I know that person? Where do I know that person from? Or have I seen this movie before? Or I think I've been to this. Have I been here? This looks very familiar. I think I've been here before. Um, do you take a daily vitamin? I do not take a daily vitamin. I'm so bad. I do not take a daily vitamin. Okay. Um, do you wear slippers? I did when I had feet. Um, I never went without slippers, even in the house. Guys, diabetics, my diabetic kitty cats, do not walk, even walk around your house in bare feet. Please, always wear something with a, a slipper with kind of a hard sole um, and wear them all the time. You never know what's on the floor. You never know what you're going to step on. You, you step on something, it punctures your foot. The next thing you know, you've got a diabetic ulcer to deal with. It's not going to heal if your sugars are not right. And you're going to get your, and you're going to get an amputation. Hello. Okay, so don't do it. All right, now, so guys, we are at number 63. Let's see if we can get a little bit further. The camera's going to turn off soon. If the camera goes, if, if the video is black, I'll be right back in part two, okay? Because I'm not going to splice these together. They're so long. We're, we're at 30, we're almost at 40 minutes already. So I hope you stayed with me. This is, this is a ridiculous tag, seriously. Okay, um, slippers. Uh, do you wear a bathrobe? I don't even own a bathrobe. Um, what do you wear to bed? Uh, winter time. Um, I can wear just about anything. Uh, usually sweats, um, sweatpants and a t-shirt. Um, sometimes shorts and a t-shirt. Um, sometimes just underwear. Um, years ago, before I met Tony, I wore nothing to bed. Then all of a sudden I met Tony. Tony, um, wears underwear to bed um and i don't know somewhere along the line i just started wearing clothes to bed i don't know why um so that's that um 
what was your first concert? My first concert, um, guys, was at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, which isn't even there anymore, the Spectrum they tore down um, years ago. Spectrum in Philadelphia, and it was Billy Idol. Um, what was your last concert? The last concert I saw, actually, I haven't been to a concert in quite a long time, and you'll um, know that when I tell you what my last concert was. My last concert was at Madison Square Garden in New York City, and it was Barbra Streisand. And I think I paid $2,000 for the ticket, um, and I was still in the nosebleed section because I didn't have $10,000 to be up in the front row. Um, but I might have been in the nosebleed section, but I was there, and I saw her. I saw her through binoculars, but I saw her and I heard her sing live, and I can die a happy boy, okay? So, um, we are at 67. Guys, this is going to turn off any second, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this is the end of part one. Thank you for staying, if you stayed the whole time. Um, I tried to fit it all into one video, I just couldn't. Um, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to come right back with part two. Uh, and we're going to start off at number 67. So we're more than halfway there. Okay, guys. So I'll be right back with part dose. Okay. See you then.